Hello, welcome to the course. In this section, I will introduce you to satellite navigation systems, the IoT devices, sensors and other systems employed in rendering vehicle tracking, asset tracking and fleet management services. Wondering what IoT means? IoT is the acronym for Internet of Things. IoT refers to a system of internet-connected devices, other than our regular smartphones and computers. Tracking devices are typical examples of IoT devices, which enable us to connect vehicles and assets of value to the internet. Why connect vehicles to the internet? Connecting vehicles to the internet serves various purposes, such as data retriever or monitoring purpose, control purpose, automation purpose, and communication purpose. By connecting vehicles and other assets of value to the internet, we are able to keep an eye on them as we can monitor their whereabouts remotely, that is their real-time locations. Aside from vehicle location data, we can also fetch other data pertaining to vehicle usage. This may include vehicle speed, odometer reading and engine speed, vehicle fuel level, and diagnostic fault codes, among others. Similarly, we can monitor drivers' behaviors and driving habits behind wheels, as well as other happenings within or around the vehicle. Tracking devices not only provide vehicle and asset visibility, but also provide the means through which users can exercise control over certain vehicle functions, like immobilizing vehicles remotely through structured commands sent over the air via SMS or over the data network. IoT, or to be more precise, Internet of Vehicles IOV, has made the automation of dispatch process possible in recent years. Vehicle preventive maintenance scheduling is now being automated. Keeping track of vehicle maintenance due time is no longer the daunting task it used to be. Fleet supervisors no longer have to go through the hassle of maintaining records of mileage covered by each vehicle on his fleet on part three basis. Logistics companies, ambulance service providers, taxi companies, among others, are all making extensive use of vehicle tracking systems in assigning vehicles to jobs and keeping track of vehicle maintenance due time based on actual vehicle usage, using parameters like mileage and engine running time. On some occasions, IOV devices provide the means through which users can communicate with drivers and certain automotive systems. So, how does it work? At the front end, a tracking device is installed or embedded on the vehicle or asset being tracked. The embedded tracking unit picks up and analyzes signals constantly being emitted by navigation satellites from outer space to ascertain the precise location of the vehicle or asset being tracked. What the tracking unit does next with this data depends on the model implemented, whether device server client model or device client model. Under the device server client implementation, the tracking unit forwards the location data at preset intervals through a communication network to a backend server which stores the received data on a database. 
only to be served to an authorized user, often called a client on demand. This is a famous real-time web-based tracking solution that enables users monitor track vehicles and assets on browsers and mobile tracking apps, while offering users three preplay features. Under the Device Client Implementation, the tracking unit will forward the location data to an authorized user as an SMS feedback in response to a structured user query sent to the tracking unit as SMS through the cellular network. I will refer to this model as a standalone SMS-based tracking solution, which is popular for its lower cost and no annual premium offering.